Tigers, welcome back. We have another special exciting lesson for you, but more importantly, I have some special exciting guests with me. Today my block four, my last class of the day, is earning the opportunity to be part of the, our video because they've done so well lately. So I want everyone to say, hey class. Hey class. Awesome. So today we are going to use our special helpers to review how to compare place values. Now when we're talking about comparing place values, we're talking about comparing one to another to be able to explain it to someone. So for example, if I had a size 5 shoe and my friend had a size 10 shoe, well if you were like, hey can you compare those sizes for me, I would say my friend's is two times bigger than my shoe, right, because it's twice as big. Now the same goes for our place values. When we started learning place values, there was one major key that we wrote down that we're going to be using a lot today. What is that one major key that we learned that we want to remember for this whole lesson? Rael? Ten times bigger. Ten times bigger. What is it? Ten, Ten times bigger. What is our major key for this unit? Ten times bigger. Perfect. And that's referring to our place values. That's telling us that each place value is 10 times bigger than its neighbor to the right. So my tens are 10 times bigger than my ones. My, my hundreds are 10 times bigger than my tens. My thousands are 10 times bigger than my hundreds. So the major key here, the thing we definitely want to remember, the thing that's gonna help us the most is the rule of 10 times bigger. If you can remember that phrase, you're going to help yourself remember how to do these. Now let's talk about why it's 10 times bigger. What does that mean? Well, if we're comparing, comparing two place values, we're comparing the values, which is what we worked on yesterday, right? So we're going to first find the values of the numbers we're comparing, the place values we're comparing, and that's going to make it easier for us to compare them. So let's say I want to compare my five in the thousands place to my five in the hundreds place. First thing I want to do is figure out the values for each of them. So what is the value for a five in the thousands place? What is the value of a five that is in the thousands place? Aiden. 5,000, because that's telling me I have five one thousands that equals a 5,000 value. Now, what about my other five? What about this one? What's the value of this one? Is it going to be 5,000? No. No, because it's a whole different place value, so it can't be the same answer, the same value. That's like saying if I have a $10 bill and a $5 bill, they're the same value. Nope. So what is the value of this five, Erin? 500. 500, because we have a five in the hundred spot that equals 500. Now, we have our two values. The five in the thousands place is worth 5,000. The five in the hundreds place is worth 500. So, if I wanted to go from 500 to 5,000, I would need to multiply times 10. That's going to make it 10 times bigger to get from this number to this number. I've got to multiply 500 times 10 to get to 5,000. Now, the trick to that is when you are moving place values Ten times bigger, that's when we're going to add a zero. If we're making it ten times bigger, that means we're adding a zero. So we add a zero. If we're trying to make it ten times bigger. So notice how my 500 has two zeros. Well, if it's ten times bigger in the thousands place, it now has three zeros. And if we were to have a five in the ten thousands place, it would have four zeros. So check those zeros and use them 
to make sure that your numbers make sense and to check if it's 10 times bigger or not. So before we wrap up today, let's do a couple practice problems to see if we understand them. The first one, can I get a volunteer to read the, the first part nice and loud? Nice and loud. What is the value of the underlying digit? Three. Three. The number three. Who can read this whole number for me? Who can read this nice and loud? Logan? Stay there. What, how would you read this? Anthony? 332,549. Perfect. 332,549. So my underlying digit is the three. What place value is the three in? What place value? Naya? Thousands. The thousands. Let's count it out to check with her. Ready, class? Yeah. We're going to start at the ones, tens, hundreds, thousands, ten thousands, hundred thousands. So we're in the thousands period, but we're in the hundred thousands place. So that means I have a place value of hundred thousands. What does that mean my value is? What is my value for this number? So I know I'm in the one hundred thousands place value. And how am I going to find the value of that? What am I going to multiply it by, Aiden? Three. Three, because that's my digit that I am trying to find the value of. Three. So my value of my underlying three in this number is 300,000. And I can check that answer by counting my zeros. I have one, two, three, four, five digits after the underlying place. So I should have five zeros in my answer. One, two, three, four, five. So far, so good. I got this one right. I'm gonna keep it, move on to the next. Who can read this next question for me? What is the value of the underlying digit? 332,549. Beautiful, 332,549. Same number, but now what place value are we looking at? What place value are we looking at? Um, 10,000. The 10,000's place. So I'm starting with the 10,000's place. And how would I figure out what the value is? What am I, am I gonna multiply my 10,000 by? Three. By three, because that's the number, the digit that I'm trying to find the value of. So I'm gonna multiply it times three. So what is the value of the three that is underlined? 30. 30,000. And how am I going to know how many zeros I'm supposed to have to make sure I did this correct? How will I know how many zeros I should have to make sure I did this correct? Who can share that answer with me? How do I check my zeros? You have to make sure that you have four zeros. And how did you know I need four zeros? Because the number of the underlying digit, the numbers after it are, are four numbers. Good. There are four numbers after the underlying digit. One, two, three, four, meaning there should be four zeros. One, two, three, four. So my value here is 30,000. So now, if I want to compare to find out how many times bigger the first value is from my second, I want to look at the place values and then the values. So notice my first one was in the hundred thousand spot. My second three is in the thirty or in the ten thousand spot. Are those two place values right next to each other? The hundred thousands and the ten thousands. Are they right next to each other in the place value line? Yes. Yes. So what do we say about each place value compared to its neighbor to the right? What is our major rule for this unit? How do I compare this place value to its neighbor to the right? What should it be? Um. Who can help her out? It's okay? 10 times bigger. 
So to check that, we count our zeros. We have 300,000 compared to 30,000. Now I notice I have one extra zero in this number. That means it's 10 times bigger. Because they're right next to each other and it's the same digit, that means it is 10 times bigger than its neighbor. So anytime we have two digits two, that are in place values right next to each other, then they compare 10 times bigger than their neighbor to the right. Review this, watch this again if you need to, and hopefully this helps you with your homework tonight. If not, I'll answer your questions in class tomorrow. Have a great night. Say bye, Tigers. Bye, Tigers.